How does sound travel? Hey, little buddies. Today, we're going to explore something super cool. How can we hear sounds? Have you ever wondered how you can hear birds singing, your mom calling you for dinner, or your friends laughing? How does sound travel to your ears? Let's find out together. Hey friends, sound doesn't just appear out of nowhere. It starts when something vibrates. For example, when you hit a drum, the drum skin vibrates. Sound is made. When you pluck a guitar string, it shakes and makes sound. Even when you talk, your voice box is doing a little happy dance too. Now that sound is made, how does it travel to your ears? Sound moves by making waves in the air, kind of like when you throw a rock into water. Ripples go out in all directions. Sound waves do the same. They make air molecules vibrate in a chain, like passing the ball in a game. The air around us is like an invisible highway that helps sound travel from place to place. When you talk, the air shakes and passes those shakes to your friend's ears. The closer you are, the louder it is. The farther, the softer. And if there's no air, you won't hear a thing. Did you know that in space, sound can't travel? That's because there's no air in space, so nothing to vibrate. Even if you scream, ah, no one can hear you, unless you have a radio. Your ears are super amazing. When sound waves arrive, your eardrum shakes like a mini drum. Then your brain gets the message. Your brain decodes it into voices, music, laughter. And thanks to two ears, you can even tell where the sound is coming from. Wow, now you're a real sound expert. Next time you hear raindrops, your dad calling, or a cat saying meow, just remember, those are happy little vibrations from the world around you visiting your ears. See you in the next video. Thank you.